the general usage of electric cutting and welding was applied not only to pipe sections, but to the manufacture of other fabricated units as well. Every foot of welded joint was subjected to a searching examination by X-ray and recorded on photographic film, which exposed even the slightest imperfections in the continuity of the weld. The discovery of even the slightest imperfection was sufficient cause for the rejection of a complete unit. Heavy-duty rigging of special design was required to handle the sections through the shop, and high-capacity cranes were required to move them step by step through the progressive phases of their manufacture. Shop processes were carried only as far as the production of the unit section. To guarantee a satisfactorily tight field joint, the ends of the sections were machined on a mammoth vertical lathe operating across the 30-foot diameter of the pipe. A modern streamlined train passing through one of the huge tubes affords an interesting gauge for the comparative size of the units. The job of transporting the pipe sections from the plant to the dam site was in itself a tremendous undertaking. And to accomplish this work, a special road trailer capable of carrying 200 tons was designed and built. The movement of the heavy trucks was controlled by air brakes and power steering apparatus with which the trailer itself was equipped. Upon arrival at the canyon rim, directly over the dam site, the unit was maneuvered into position for lowering into the canyon. 